Yeah, absolutely. You know, to uh, be back at our place again this weekend is huge. It was kind of our goal starting off the season is we wanted to be able to host at the end of the season. So uh, we're really happy with where we're at. Still got to get ready to go and uh, some fun games ahead of us. Obviously, y'all, you guys honor senior day this weekend as well. What does the senior class mean to the program? Oh, man. Uh, they, you know, a lot of these kids have been here since I've been here, you know. So, uh, and, and we had a big senior class. We had eight counting one of our managers. Uh, and just they've been a part of a lot of really good memories. You know, so uh, just a special group of kids that uh, you know, I'm going to look back at for years to come and just, just have a lot of really positive memories. You know, they've done so much for, for getting our program, the culture and everything like that that we want to have. Uh, you know, it's just it's fun just thinking back, uh, reflecting on all the success that they've had. What do you feel about your team when you look back at this season as a comprehensive whole? Now that you can look back on the entire regular season, how do you feel about this season? So yeah, I mean, I feel good. I'm still not really in the mode of looking back too much with games coming up again this weekend. But, uh, I mean, like I said, we're right where we wanted to be. You know, at the beginning of the season, we wanted to be able to host the conference tournament and be able to play at our place. And uh, we're in that spot, so I feel really good about it. Uh, but, but motivated to make sure we get better. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, there's no better place to play than Schaefer Park, you know, be able to sleep in your own beds. Uh, obviously, the fans that are out at the games and stuff like that, the atmosphere of the game is just an amazing atmosphere. You know, we get a lot of fans from the Amarillo area and Canyon area and stuff like that, just surrounding community. Uh, and it just, it makes it fun, you know, and uh, we love playing at home. So uh, we're super excited to be here and uh, can't wait. You get the winner at Kingsville and Cameron. They play that early game on Thursday. Uh, just kind of, obviously, you played on both this year, so kind of what do you about those matchups either way. Yeah, I mean, we got to be ready to go. Both of them took a game from us. Uh, you know, we're definitely uh, not going to overlook them. Uh, again, we're excited to be back at our place to play them. But, uh, you know, they're both they're both really good teams. You know, they're athletic. they got kids that can hit. they got kids that can pitch. Uh, and, and they play good defense. So uh, we got to make sure that we're ready to go. I think it really starts for us with our defense. You know, if we play good, solid defense, we're a pretty hard team to beat. But uh, we also got to get some timely hits, and, and, and our pitchers have to throw well. Yesterday, you had a moment Yeah, I mean, just she's just such a good kid, you know. I mean, she's uh, the the coach's dream, you know, that just shows up to practice every day with a smile on her face. Just asks what she can do to help our team get better, and and she does that whether it be coming in and getting a hit off, off the bench or whether it be charting stuff down or, or whatever. Like she's just she's just come in and fed the machine before for us when we've been short on people to feed. Uh, and she's just such a selfless player, you know, a person that you can just tell she's been raised really well. She's got a dad who's an athletic director and has a coaching background and, and a really good mom. Uh, so, you know, just to me, it just warms my heart, you know, to see somebody like that go in and have the success that she had in that moment. Like, she deserved it. Like, to me, that game of softball is all right when that happens because she deserved that success in that moment. So I was really happy. Then Friday's game, you guys had the comeback there, but we saw some emotion out of you there on the sideline. It looked like the ball went off a fielder's glove and yes. they called it a foul. What was those conversations like with the umpire? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just a big moment, you know, and uh, and I, I think our kids, uh, they worked really hard all year to, to be put in a good spot, and uh, you know, in that moment, uh, I thought it hit off from her glove and, and they saw it differently. It wasn't a reviewable play, so that was my conversation with the umpires, was just if, if it's something we can take a look at or not, but... Uh, once the ball's dead, you, you can't really review it. So, uh, you know, just a normal softball play, but uh, a critical moment for us. But we still still got those runs in.